In today's video, we're going to break down this Minecraft edit that you might have seen on social media, and we're going to recreate it in Photoshop. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's open our photo in Photoshop. For this video, I'm going to use this one. Ensure the photo allows for easy background removal, as we'll be replacing it with a Minecraft scene. First, let's select the Crop tool, select to change the width and height resolution, and type in 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels, which is the new resolution that Instagram uses. Then I'll resize and crop the photo to something like this. Press V to switch back to the Move tool, and in the Contextual Taskbar press on Select Subject. If you can't see it, go to Window and make sure Contextual Taskbar is checked. Select the subject and with the Quick Selection tool I will refine it to include the wall as well. Draw on any area to add to the selection and hold Option or Alt to remove from the selection. You also have these buttons at the top to add or subtract from the selection. I'm going to right click on the selection and go to Select and Mask to shift the edge a little bit so it removes some of the extras around the subject. You can check Show Original here at the top to see the difference. Hit OK and now it's time to press the Mask button here at the bottom to hide the background. Now go to File and Place Embedded to add the Minecraft background in our project. Let's resize it and then place it below your photo in the Layers panel. I'm going to resize and move it a little more. The next step is to blend the subject with the background. Some methods might take more time to achieve good results, but I'll show you one quick way to do it. Select the top layer, then go to Filter, Neural Filters, and Enable Harmonization. Then click on Select a layer and choose the background layer. Photoshop is going to try to match the colors and light conditions so they blend. You can refine the settings by choosing the strength, color hues, saturation, and brightness. Select the output to be new layer and press OK. That's for the first photo example. Now let's move on to the next photo. We'll crop it again to 1080 by 1350, then go to File and Place Embedded. If you noticed, I've set a shortcut for it on Command plus P. And now is time to add different Minecraft items on the ground. Let's resize the diamond, choose a position, and select the Ellipse tool, Change the fill color to black and draw a shadow. Let's make it slightly pixelated, so for that, go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mosaic. Convert it into a smart object, and change the cell size to be 2. Lastly, change the opacity of the ellipse layer to 50 by going to the Opacity slider here, or just by simply pressing 5 on the keyboard. Now you can group these two layers and press Command plus J to duplicate it and place it throughout the image. You can even duplicate the item, slightly move it so it looks like a group. Just make sure it matches the conditions of the photo. For example here, I'll blur the item slightly to match the original image. You can add some experience orbs or any other item that fits to make the photo look more interesting. So that was it for this video guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. And also check out our website for design resources, music, and more. If you want to learn more, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.